I used to love doing outdoor things when I was younger. I'm talking fishing, hiking, camping, and this is all despite the fact that I lived in fairly large cities my entire life, and I almost always loved playing video games, a very classic indoor activity. In fact, I used to go camping and hiking quite recently until I moved back to New York City and life became a tad bit more demanding as additions were made to the family. Suffice it to say, I'm not doing any extended camping trips anytime soon or foreseeable future. But as a normal, sane man, I still yearn for the great outdoors and the sense of adventure that a long hike or an extended camping trip holds. There's nothing like being out in the cold, in the middle of nowhere, and not being quite sure that you'll make it back. It's even better if you have your bros with you, knowing that they have your back and you have theirs in a non-brokeback mountain type of way, of course. Enter Valheim, one of the best games I have played in a long, long time. It's my escapist vehicle into the outdoors, my much needed therapy away from the urban wasteland that I experienced vicariously through my character that I made in the game named Gunnar. Now if you're into the survival genre at all, I'm sure you've heard about this game. I'm sure you've heard about how cool the different mechanics are and how fun it is to build up a base and how it is one of the if not the best game in this genre. And yes, all that stuff is true. The hype is real for this game. But a lot of those things, including the mechanics, have been talked about to death. What I'd like to let you know about my fellow nature-loving brother that's possibly cooped up in an office cubicle or in your home office whilst you yearn for the great outdoors is that this game could be your vicarious escapism from the urban cage you may call home or work. In the game, you run, you hunt, you make fire, you chill, and try to stay warm with your bros. They say nature is the the best medicine, and Valheim is probably the next best thing. You discover new lands mainly via boating, hiking, and sailing. Most of this exploration, at least towards the beginning parts of the game, is extremely therapeutic and very low stress, from the soundtrack of the metals, which is what you've been hearing this entire time, to even the more foreboding music of the black forest or swamps. Sure, there's enemies that are out to end you and survival elements to the game like hunger, getting cold, and being wet, but much of this is taken care of through a little hunting, which can be really good fun if you're into it, or you can just gather berries and harvest from beehives if you have any moral qualms against killing animals. But you still need to kill animals regardless for their pelts, otherwise you won't have clothes. There's actually a pretty elaborate cooking system later on after you build up your base, which in and of itself can be pretty fulfilling for you amateur architects and designers that are into creating and making large settlements and extravagant structures. In case you haven't noticed, this game has a little something for everyone, and it's no wonder the game is so freaking popular despite its relative small team and budget. From what I read, the team only consisted of five people, which is mind-blowing considering the quality of this game. Each activity is pretty deep and can be fulfilling and pretty relaxing for someone that is into that type of thing. The real therapy for me though begins on the open sea or when you're hiking through new lands, building fires and makeshift shelters to protect yourself from the elements and have a place to lay down your head during the cold nights. Of course, there's other activities like mining, lumbering, and other material gathering which acts as the real incentive for you to to go out and explore. It's not all wholesome therapy though, and the game definitely isn't boring. If you're looking for some excitement, the game has it. It can get pretty chaotic and hectic at times too, but the cool thing about this game is that most of the encounters happen by your choice. You have to make the pagan sacrifice before fighting the dear god Aktir. He doesn't just come at you while you're asleep or if you leave the settlement. In fact, if you build your settlement in the metals, which is the starting biome, you never really encounter any actual danger save for some night encounters or if you actually go out into the other biomes and explore. Of course there's dungeons with skeleton monsters, forests full of trolls, slimes, and other creatures that will try to kill you, but the game does a great job at throwing them at you little by little so that exploring takes the spotlight of the game. Then there's that calm, relaxing feeling of coming back from one of those adventures, cold, wet, hungry, potentially about to die, loaded up with all the materials you picked up along the journey, and after warming up and getting dry, you knock out to look forward to a new day. And that feeling I had from the game really brought me back to the days when I used to come home from an especially grueling hiking and camping trip, and if you know what I'm talking about, I invite you to to really get into this game and see if you get the same type of feeling. This isn't really a formal game review as the game isn't even officially released yet. It's still in early access and my guess is it will probably stay in early access for the remainder of this year. I'll probably review it then but if any of the things that I talked about in this video appeals to you then I definitely think you should pick this game up. It's currently $20 and I think it is absolutely worth your money and time. In this day and age where travel is potentially 
getting more and more restricted due to the uncertainty of our times and games are getting released half-assed. It is great to see a game like this come out and I'm really looking forward to seeing the updates this game eventually gets as we get closer to the full release. Long story short, if you, like me, yearn for the great outdoors but cannot partake as much as you want to due to life circumstances, Valheim is good, clean, wholesome, fun. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you had something burning inside you to put out to the world, I couldn't think of a better place to put it and then in the comments section below. Until next time my brothers, peace.